Hey, what's going on, everybody? Happy Sunday. Hope you've been having a nice weekend so far. Got six matchups on this NHL slate. Um, so yeah, some pretty good action here. Before I get started, go ahead and like and subscribe. Support the channel. If you guys want to get access to the private Discord server and community that I'm building up, links in the description below. 64 members strong in there. I'd love to have you guys be a part of the team and become a YouTube member today. Support the channel. Love to have you a member as well. And uh, yeah, we're going to get right into it. Six matchups here. First matchup is the Washington Capitals versus the Boston Bruins. Washington 29-12-4. Boston 24-12-6. Boston opening up as favorites at minus 135. Washington plus 115 with the over-under at 5.5. Last 10 games for Washington. 6-4 in their last 10. Boston... 6-4 and four in their last 10 as well. The last time these two teams did play, which is, you know, on the 11th, Boston 8-1 to one in that game. Kind of a crazy scoring game there. Um, Washington 4-1 and one in their last five here. 5-1 five and one on the road. Playing really good, this Washington team is. Boston 4-2 and two at home. They are 2-10 and ten at home against Washington in their last 12 meetings. Um... You know, I don't think that eight one. I think that was just that was just a great game on Boston's part. Um, they've won the previous two matchups. Um, I don't know, man. It'll probably let me down here, but I like the Capitals on the puck line at plus one and a half. I think it's going to be a lot closer of a game here, and um, I like the value with Washington. We're going to go with the upset. I like the early upset, and I like them on the puck line, and we're going to go with the over 5.5. Next matchup, we have the New York Rangers versus the New Jersey Devils. The Rangers 22-16-6. The Devils 14-23-6. The Rangers opening up as favorites at minus 200. New Jersey plus 170 with the over-under at 5.5. Last 10 games for the Rangers, 7-3 in their last 10. New Jersey 1-9 in their last 10. These teams, I mean, they're playing four games in a row here. The Rangers winning six to three in the last matchup, four to zero, then three to zero. To me, nothing's gonna change here. Just Rangers are just blowing them out and killing them. Uh, you know, New Jersey kept it close for a while in the last game, but uh, New Jersey pulled away. I'm, I'm sorry, the Rangers pulled away ahead. You know, late in that game. Love the Rangers in this spot, and we're going to go with the over five and a half. Next matchup, we have the Pittsburgh Penguins versus the Buffalo Sabres. Pittsburgh 28 13 and 3, Buffalo 11 26 and 7. Pitt opening up as favorites at minus 240, Buffalo plus 200 with the over under at six. Last 10 games for Pitt, 7 and 3 in their last 10, Buffalo 5 and 5 in their last 10. Pitt coming off the 3 to 2 win against Buffalo here. Super close match there. Pitt, they're on a 6 and 0 win streak against Buffalo. 5 and 0 on the road against Buffalo here. Buffalo, you know, 0 and 5 at home against Pitt. 2 and 15 at home right now. I'm still rolling with Pitt in this matchup. I get the Sabers are probably, you know, they're probably due for an upset win here. Um I just can't. I just not not buying it. Gonna go with the pit minus two forty. Put him in a nice parlay. Gonna go with the over six. Next matchup we have the Vegas Golden Knights versus the Anaheim Ducks. Vegas thirty eleven and two. Anaheim fourteen twenty four and seven. Vegas opening up his favorites at minus two fifty. Anaheim plus two ten with the over under at five and a half. Last ten games for Vegas six and four in their last ten. Anaheim four and six in their last ten. These teams did just play, you know, with Vegas picking up a four to zero win in that matchup. Looked pretty dominant. Currently on a five game winning streak. Vegas seven and one in their last eight against Anaheim. Just all kinds of success here against Anaheim. Anaheim zero and six at home right now. Don't love the upset bid. Rolling with the the hot Vegas Golden Knights, and we're gonna go with the over five and a half in this one next matchup we have the new york islanders versus the philadelphia phillies the islanders 27 13 and 4 the filler the phillies 
the Flyers, Jesus, 2018 and 6. Islanders opening up as favorites at minus 135. <clears throat> Philly plus 115 with the over under at 5.5. Last 10 games for the Islanders, 5 and 5 in their last 10. Philly, 3 and 7 in their last 10. Um, Islanders here, 13 and 7 in their last 20 games. Um, you know, playing pretty well. Had a bad couple last couple games against Boston here where they just did not play good at all. Um, they did play Philly, you know, winning the last two matchups against Philly here, three to two, three to two in both of those matchups. Philly two and eight at home right now. I think this is a great bounce back spot for the Islanders coming off that two game winning streak. I'm going to roll with the Islanders at minus 135 and um, I'm going to go with the under five and a half. Last matchup on the board, we have the Toronto Maple Leafs versus the Vancouver Canucks. Toronto 28-12-4. Vancouver 16-18-3. Toronto opening up as favorites at minus 274. Vancouver plus 254 with the over-under at 6.5. Last 10 games for Toronto. 6-4 in their last 10. Vancouver 6-4 in their last 10 here. Um... You know, Vancouver missing a lot of time. They haven't even played in over a month. Um, and Toronto's riding a three-game losing streak here. I mean, this has just got the makings for Toronto, for a huge bounce back for Toronto to blow this Vancouver team out here. Um, it's hard to really trust Vancouver right now after not playing for so long. Gonna stick with the, gonna stick with a really good Toronto Maple Leafs team to take care of this Vancouver team. We're going to go with the under six and a half as well. That's going to do it for this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Good luck with your picks and parlays on Sunday. And I will see you guys on Monday. Have a good one.